So even as a religion, the religion that is carrying his name, Christ, Christianity, is not his religion. So I think, you know, my son, uh, you should check up these things, you know, before making a statement to say, you know, this man was more successful than the other. The most successful of all religious personalities is Muhammad, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, edition, 11th edition. Most successful. Well, I don't know, nobody paid, I don't know who, who paid them, you know, to write that down. The, um, this this, this uh, um, note here, Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. Um, Moses, I do believe, performed miracles. Um, Jesus performed an abundance of miracles, but I have no knowledge of Muhammad performing miracles. Yes. Could Mr. Dida just um, elaborate on that? Where, yeah, I'd like to say that uh, Jesus is like Moses because they both, both perform miracles. Uh, the question is, if it's not, well, it's not very clear to part of the audience, that uh, Moses performed miracles, Jesus performed miracles, but he has no knowledge whether the Holy Prophet Muhammad performed miracles. Now, in the book of traditions, more than 300 miracles are ascribed to the Holy Prophet Muhammad But the Muslim does not make an issue of it because those miracles of the prophets gone by are things in books. They are a matter of history. So saying that, look, my prophet did this and your prophet did that. But here, again and again, Allah, but are you listening, brother? I see that you are, you see your head is down there. I don't know whether you're listening to me. If you look at me, then I can address you. Look, look at me. If you look at me, look, your head is right down. No, no, I... You're looking at the video camera, and you are ashamed. Look, you see now, I'm talking to you. Why don't you come a little forward then, if the light is hurting you? I said the Quran again and again... <laughs> yes. You see, again and again, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallam, he referred to the Quran. A living miracle. You see, the miracles of Moses, you know, crossing the Red Sea, right, striking the rock and rivers gushing forth. Miracles of Jesus turning water into wine, killing those 2,000 pigs, drying up the fig tree from the very roots, right. Now, these are things in books. You see, you say, look, man, I don't know whether it happened or it didn't happen. It might sound like a fairy tale to most people. So he said, look, Talk about this is a living miracle. And I'm going to prove this to you, you know, in a lecture in the series, Al-Quran, a visual miracle. In other words, that you today in the 20th century, you can verify that this book is the miracle left behind, a living miracle of Muhammad left with you. You need a little patience for that. But if you look up the books of traditions, there are more than 300 miracles attributed to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallam, but the Muslim does not go out of his way to prove the bona fide of his prophets by those miracles. He said, here, a living miracle, you can see for yourself and verify yourself. So I, I, I look forward to seeing you there. Al-Quran, a visual miracle, the living miracle of Muhammad. Thank you. Thank you. That is at Athlone Civic Center in Athlone. To answer the brother's question, to be sure he's got it to say that the Quran is the miracle which everybody can see and touch even up to today. Is there any other question from the audience? Please come forward. Good evening, Mr. Idad. I appreciate your explanation for that particular scripture verse, but I have one question. What you have said tonight, is that authenticated in the Quran? Can you quote a particular verse whereby Muhammad claimed himself to be that particular prophet? You see, the Quran is not the words of Muhammad. This is it. The Quran is the word of God. 
and God Almighty is testifying. This is not Muhammad's story book, what he can say, this, make this claim, that claim. So school, tell them. See, I read at the very beginning. Tell them, Araitum in Kana min in Can't you see? Are you blind? Like Jesus told the Jews. He says, you know, the sheep and the goats, they hear their master's voice. How is it that you can't hear your master's voice? You know, you as a human being, you should have more brains than the, cam than, the, than, the, than, the, than the sheep and the goats. If they can recognize their master's voice, Jesus assumes, and God Almighty also assumes, that you as, a, as a, an intelligent creature of his, you will be able to recognize this as the word of God. And in that word of God, he says, وَشَهِدَ شَاهِدُمْ مِنْ بَنِي إِسْرَعِيلَ عَلَى مِثْلِهِ And a witness from among the children of Israel bore witness of one like him. And word for word, we find fulfillment. That Jesus, Moses, through the mouth of Mo Moses, God Almighty speaks, he says, like unto thee, like you, mislaka, mislaka in Arabic, mislahi. So, we have this, I have given you more than 20 different reasons to say that, look, this prophecy refers to the Holy Prophet Muhammad. God Almighty makes the claim on his behalf. He said, this is the verification. You read that in that booklet, if, it's, if you have that, the very first verse that's written on the top, introduction, the very first verse on the first page, you'll find that quotation from the Quran. You didn't get that book of ours? Is the Bible God's, what the Bible says about Muhammad? The very first page, you'll see that verse there, which is the confirmation from God Almighty that this is the prophecy finds fulfillment in the Holy Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you see whether this message be from Allah, God Almighty, and yet you reject it? It is, and a witness from among the children of Israel, bore witness of one like him. Do you see whether this message be from Allah, God Almighty? Now I had read through the translation of the Quran, and there's one part that struck me when he, when he gave the scripture that, that he received from the angel Gabriel, in the form of the Holy Spirit. When he received it and he gave it to them, I would like to ask you one question, but that is not the, that is not the whole point of the thing is that can, I'd, I'd like to know for sure why point number one, when he revealed the, the, the Quran, right? When he revealed the word to them, can you tell me why? Firstly, did his eyes turn red like fire and his temper and had a bad temper and yet further down it brought it to, to a conclusion that he had to stress it that way to get the attention, right? But now what I'd like to know is that, can you tell me for sure that the, not to, I speak under full correction, and I'd like to know there is a difference between the Holy Quran and the, and the Bible. There's a very big difference. And from this point, I'd like to read you some scripture he said, the Holy Quran 46, verse 10, do you see whether this message be from Allah? Right? But I'd like to stress you a point because you said you, you had searched from Dumani to Dumani. Right? And you went from one point to another point seeking the truth. Right, sir? Seeking the truth concerning the Deuteronomy 18, verse 18. But that is not my point. What I'd like to know is the difference is can the Quran fully be, fully be accepted as the word of God? But before you answer me, I'd like to read to you something. <coughs> yeah. Uh, could I get, could you put the one question which you would like him to answer? Just one. Right? All right, but I would like to read to him the, the scripture verse. And Why I, won't you read afterwards? You finish, finish your question sir. first, yes. What uh, was the question again? Yeah, it says... Look, you're you, rambling too much. Uh, you take, look, I'm an old man of 66 now and I'm standing on my feet for two hours. Will you please be merciful to me? Mm. Come forward with your question. What is the question? Don't ramble. All right, sir. I'll bring it to you. Uh, you talked about the Antichrist. I yeah. never spoke about the Antichrist. No, about the 666, six, six, the number. So why, why did I never use the word Antichrist in my talk at yes, all? I know, so sir. So why are you trying to put words beast. in my mouth? You talked about the beast. That I meant to refer to the beast. Right, that so right. talk about the, the beast, 666, six, six, yeah. Yeah. Let's hear. But that's not the, the actual point. The question is here in John 8. What is your question? 
Could you put the question you can support it with a text uh, afterwards? This is for you, young what man, you know, that is the one who has been challenging. You see now, every Christian that comes forward, he has got the spirit. But when he comes to ask questions, the spirit deserts you. I don't know why. Why can't people 